What's up everybody? Today on Toxic Rides, I'm gonna show you how to put on your bumper guards on your Cadillacs. So thank you guys for watching the content and I hope you like it. Share it, subscribe. Toxic Rides, yes sir. All right, so here is the gold one that I already put on. And I had to make sure I was doing this right before I showed y'all how to do it. And this is the chrome one. So the chrome one I have sitting on, but I have to show you guys how to take this off so we could line everything up and get the gold one on. But look at the gold. The gold with the little gold with the... Oh, yeah, that's going to be dope. So we're going to put on this gold um, bumper guard. But I'm going to show you how to take it off and put it back on because a lot of people ask me, how do you take them off? So I'm going to show you how to take them off if you don't know how to do it already. So check it out. All right, now this is going to be hard to see, but I need to stick my hand in here to show you. So your bumper guard here on the outside. And the inside, you're going to have two holes that line up with the bumper guard. And one is right here, the bottom one. And then you go directly up on the top. And there's your top one. So those two, you're going to have to go ahead and take those off. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And we ha also have another one on the bottom. Now, your bottom one is going to be right there. That's one other screw that you got to go ahead and take off. And once you get all three of those off, this, uh, this guard will just come right off. Just like that. So that's the two holes you're going to have the top bolts in. And then you had one on the bottom. So it's going to be three total bolts to get your bumper guard off. And also, let me show you this. This right here, when you look at the bumper guard, this piece, it fits in there kind of like a puzzle. You just put it in there and it kind of locks in place and then everything falls right where it's supposed to. So you want to put it in like this and do it just like that. So now that we got these off, let's go ahead and put together the gold one. All right, so here's the bumper guards. This is the one that I gold plated probably three years ago before my car went to the paint shop. And I wrapped it up and it still looks really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and assemble these. And to take them apart, it's just going to be in reverse. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. And then we're going to install it on the car. Now, I gold plated everything on my car with the universal gold plater. And I'll leave a link to a review that I did with this, which is incredible. So if you want a gold plate and you don't have time waiting for these shops, then I recommend the universal gold plater. Link going to be in the description where you go ahead and purchase it off Amazon. So let's get to it. All right, now we got the Cadillac right here. And as you can see, the one gold one is on there. And we're going to show you how to put this other one on. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're getting to the hardest part. All right. Now, this is the hardest part is getting this bolt into this bottom hole. We're going to start with the bottom hole first because when you get the top, it's at an angle and it's really hard to, to get them lined up. So we start with the bottom. So uh, what you want to do is get this in. Make sure it's kind of snug because if it fall out, you got to keep this a magnet to fish it out. So now we're going to go in through the top here and we're going to find out where that hole is at, which is right there. And we're going to try and get this in to go through the hole, but you have to be very, very careful and do it really slow so that the, the bolt don't drop. Just like that. Now we have it in there. All right, so now that's going to be cool for a second right there. And we're going to go ahead and take our bumper guard. And what we're going to do is get this socket and put it back on the bolt inside. Because you're going to have to twist it, and I shouldn't have took it off, but let's sit it right here for a second. So I can make sure I get it back on in one piece. All right, so now it's in and it's stable. So what you want to do is find that bottom one right there. Go ahead and put it on there and screw that in to get it set. Just like that. And now you want to tighten up that bolt. 
And once you start pulling it out, you can tell if it's on or not. So right now it's latched on, so I'm good to go. Now we're going to leave that um, socket connected. And we're going to go ahead and get our ratchet. And because that one is on the bottom, it'll make it real easy for the top screw to go on. We're just going to go ahead and bolt that all the way down. So let's lock this in. And we're going to go ahead and lock that guard all the way down. And it's a pretty big bolt, but there you go. So now it's kind of locked in place. And because it's in place, you got good access. So now that it's in place right there, you go ahead and pull it out because the bolt's not going nowhere. So we're going to get out of there. And we're going to grab another bolt right here, and we're going to lock the bottom one in place. So when you took it off, you already know that there's a bracket on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and find that hole and get that screw started. And now that it's in there, we go ahead and take our smaller socket and lock that in place. And once you lock that in, then it's easier to get the other bolts in, but you don't want to tighten it up all the way first until you get all these bolts started. And you see this still a little loose. But you just go ahead and work that in until it's solid enough. It's not too tight. And now we're going to go back to the top. And we're going to tighten that bottom one all the way down to shorten out this little gap. So let's just take the big one because if you put two, it's going to be too much. So go ahead and put it on by hand first. Make sure you get the bolt in there, get the uh, the ratchet on the bolt. And it's kind of tricky sometimes, but so right now it's on the bolt. Now I can come back and take my ratchet and tighten her all the way down. All right, now we got that on. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up the bottom screw all the way. Use the same socket. Put the top bolt in, and that's how you put on your bumper guards. So, any more info y'all need, hit up Toxic Rides, ask me a question, I'll go ahead and figure it out, and we'll do a video about it. But, gold bumper guards, gold plated with the Universal Gold Plater. Um, I'll leave a link to the video that I have with the review down at the bottom. And once I hit, let's say, 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away some fresh gold plated bumper guards and maybe some tail light covers. So subscribe, like, share, Toxic Rides, and we out. Yes, sir.